Cindy. I work at the Move, and I'm going to do about a 15-minute class Pilates. Remember, work at your level, do what you can, don't force anything. What we're going to do is start by laying down first. So I'm going to bring the legs around, grab the back of the thighs. You try to use the hamstrings more and see curve when you roll down. All right. Bend those legs up. And I'm going to start out with what I call marching. But first, just let's get the breathing. Breathe in through your nose. Expand your ribs like an accordion. Then shh. So you breathe and expand them, but relax those shoulders. Shh like you're blowing out a candle. And do that again. Breathe in. And exhale. We're gonna continue that type of breathing. But don't let yourself get stressed about the breathing. So abs in. And I want you to uh, think about a triangle. Thumbs together, straight. And put the index fingers on the pubic bone, the thumbs on the hips. Look at that. Is your belly, you should be in one line. If you set a cup of water on your belly, it would not spill the whole time. So let's lift the right leg to tabletop. Don't let this move. Bring the leg down, left leg. Now that might be easy, so you might bring the right leg, breathe in. Shh. Are we engaging it? Keep the ribs in. Focus on the breath. Relax the neck and shoulders. Now, the next time I come up, I'm gonna just bring the right leg up, feet together. And you can always have your feet on the floor. We're gonna do what we call hundreds. We're gonna grab the back of the thighs. I want you to lift through the ribs, not pull it on your neck. Breathing in, exhale, come up. So you lift to the tip of your shoulder blades, zip it up, arms along your side, or along your hips, above the, the mat. Start puffing, breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Five. I did it for five. Legs might be extended, toes turned out. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Shh. Two, three, four, five. If you want, one, two, three, four, five down. Up, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Don't do this if it's too much. One, two, three, four, five. If the neck bothers you, bring a hand behind the head. Or you can just lay your head down. Just keep that engagement. Last one, bring those knees in, lay back, relax your shoulders, turn your head right and left, just kind of back and forth. And then just circle those knees around one way, circle them around, circle them the other way. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is, is a roll up, and I'm gonna show, I'm gonna straighten the legs out and and if you ever need to bend them, that's fine. So turn, bring those heels together, turn the toes out. I'm gonna show you how to do a full roll up, but then I'm gonna show you a modification. So reach the arms up, relax the shoulders. If you have any issues with bringing the arms back, don't do that. Don't let the ribs pop up. So we breathe in, lift up to the tip of your shoulders as you use those ribs. Push to those back of those thighs. Roll up, round it. Shoulders relaxed. Always keep those shoulders relaxed. Breathe in. Exhale, C curve. Roll it back one vertebrae at a time. Don't drop down. So now I'll show you the modified one. So you'd sit up like this, grab those legs, make a C curve, breathe in, roll back. Shh. If you find the top of the legs are kicking in, bring those toes up, push the heels. Shh. You can let go. Shh. Breathe in. You can go further. Shh. Listen to your body. Let's just do one more regular. Don't do it if it doesn't work. Come back up. I'm gonna roll down one more time and just do windshield wiper, knees. All right, arms up. Bend your knees, bring your feet a little wider. So arms relaxed. Just go back and forth those legs so my feet are a little bit warmer. And don't worry about touching like the floor. Just go where you can, doesn't matter. Let's do one more to each side. All right, now we're gonna rock it up. If you ever tend to get dizzy or you know any kind of problems or back issues, you can always roll to your side. Otherwise, lift up to your shoulder, tip of your shoulder blades, grab those thighs, round it up. Kind of rock up. Now I'm gonna get, 
adjust it here. Now you can be here. I'm going to do roll like a ball, round it. Now I'm going to show you a variation first and then I'll do it. You can be here. See how I have like bicep, I'm using those biceps, rounding. Now you can grab the shins if it's easier, push into the shins and push the shins into those hands. Maybe you go back two inches, forward, breathe in. All right, and you keep rounded, breathe in, tip your shoulder blades, exhale. Breathe in. Notice if you rock to one side. Now I have scoliosis, so I have to really watch it. So watch it if you have one side that has a problem at all. Breathe in, exhale. One more, breathe in, exhale. Stay here, bring the right leg in, left leg out, turn the toe out. We're gonna do what they call the, the stomach series or the warm-up series, roll down. So you could have a leg here. If the back bothers you, lift up. Remember the neck. You can, um, if you need to lay your head down, that's okay. Zip it up again. Breathe in. I'm gonna lower my leg. Exhale, switch. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. So notice I don't go fast. I use control. Breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. Last one. Knees in. All right, rock it around. Back and forth. Next thing we're gonna do is what they call double leg stretch. I'm gonna bring the legs to tabletop. And I'm gonna lift up, and I'm gonna kind of push up, but grab behind those thighs. Zip it up. And you either keep your head up or down, depending on how the neck feels. But lift those ribs, it's a learned thing. So I'm gonna bring the hands alongside those knees. Breathe in, stretch, exhale in. Now you could put the legs up, if it's too much for your neck and down, you could go out further. Shh. You could even add weights to your hands if you wanted to. Breathe in. Shh. If that back arches though, you don't want to add anything. You don't want to go lower. Breathe in. Shh. Two more. Shh. And one more. Shh. Let's lay the head down, relax the shoulders. Let's just kind of turn your head back and forth. Rock it around. So I'm gonna do um, bicycle. I'm gonna bring the legs tabletop. If you ever find you, it's better to have your legs down, that's fine, because I don't want you to arch your back. Legs up, grab the back of your thighs. Relax the neck so you lift the ribs. And I'm gonna bring my hands, the thumbs, at the base of the skull and rest my head. All right, then I'm gonna extend the right leg, twist your armpit toward the knee. So don't pull like that, because then you're pulling your neck. Center. Other side, breathe in. Shh. Feel free to just do the legs or just do the twisting. Shh. Are we pushing your head into your hands? Exhale, breathe in. Push your head into your hands. Push it in. Push it in. Push it in. Last one this side, last one here. All right, bring your knees in. Maybe happy baby. Rock it around. Breathe in. All right, we're gonna rock it up to sit in. Grab the back of the legs, rock it up. Now, I'm gonna ex extend those legs, bring them a little bit wider, almost as wide as a mat. Now, if you have a hard time sitting up tall, you may wanna sit on something or just bend your knees like this and get tall. We're gonna do what we call a roll down. So, what, I'm gonna, and get tall, shoulders back. Reach your arms here. Remember how we rounded like this? So we start rounding head, neck, and C curve. Just to about here. Relax your shoulders, round. Relax your shoulders, roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. You could even do this on the wall. Sometimes it's easier standing. Breathe in, exhale, round. Pause, pull those abs in. Breathe in, exhale, roll it up. Get tall. Get tall through the crown of the head. Let's do one more. Breathe in. kind of let those feet go out a little bit and then roll those shoulders out a little bit other way. I want to do the bridge just because that's so good for your um, back. So I'm going to roll down again, bend those knees, the ankles should be underneath the knees, and wind up here. So lift up your chest and relax the shoulders, pull those abs in. So what I want you to do is breathe in, exhale, push the small of the back to the mat. 
Breathe in, exhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Now push, point the tailbone towards your knees, squeeze the butt cheeks, abs in, shoulders back. Breathe in, exhale, roll down, shoulder blade, next vertebrae, all the way down. Do it again, breathe in, small the back down, roll up. As you come up, squeeze the glutes. So squeeze your glutes like you're squeezing a dollar bill. Hold it here. Push those, act like you're pointing your knees over your toes, abs in. I'm gonna come down a little bit, squeeze those glutes up. Let's try for 10, two, three, four, five. I'll keep it simple, sometimes we add lifting a leg and doing it for 10, five. Think five more, sometimes I lose the count. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it, point your knees away, breathe in, exhale, roll down. All right, let's go ahead and straighten that left leg, bring your right leg in, lengthen it. You can always use a strap if you have something to it handy. All right, extend the leg, don't force it to be straight. Real, you can even bend the left knee if that's too much too. Relax your shoulders, get that stretched out. We use those hamstrings a lot. Focus on the breath. Breathe in and exhale. Bend the knee, slide that other foot in, Bring that leg down, lengthen it, and try to heavy the tailbone, relax the shoulders. Maybe lengthen that other leg or keep it bent. Get that stretch there. Breathe in. All right, bend that knee. So I'm just gonna do a couple leg exercises now. So I'm gonna roll on my side and scoot back to the back of the mat and lengthen your legs. And notice how my head's forward, pull it back. So I'm gonna just rest my head on my hands. You can even use a pillow. All right, now I'm gonna bring my legs forward like a banana. Push that top hip forward. We always tend to drop this lower abs. All right, I'm gonna lift the top leg, push it away. Act like you're pushing into a wall. Bring that leg forward, pulse, pulse as you flex. Point forward, are we keeping that hip? We're not going back like that. Pulse, pulse, point. Pull those abs in, pulse, pulse. Breathe in, are we relaxing? Breathe in, and exhale. Focus on our breath, breathe in, and exhale. Let's do one more, breathe in. Hold that leg up. All right, now flex the foot, push that hip away. Lift and down, abs in, lift and down. Exhale, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's roll back and just stretch out that hip real quick. So cross that, so we were on our side, cross that leg we just worked, flex the foot, pull it in. Heavy the tailbone, relax the shoulder. So this leg behind, let your hips fall a little bit that way. Pull it in, relax your shoulders. And this back knee, point it out a little bit, bring your foot in just a little bit, just to add a little bit to that stretch. And I'm just gonna let you drop your legs over. If that's ever too much, stack the legs instead. Uncross. Okay, let's this time take the other leg cross. Oh wait, let's tell you what, let's lift up. Let's work that other leg. Okay, so. Scoot back, back of the mat. So line up, don't have the head forward. We tend to look, rest your head on your hands, everyone. Bring your legs forward, kind of like a banana. Push that hip away so you have some length here. You're not dropping that, lift up. Lift up the leg, push it away, flex, and then point. So breathe in, pull those abs in. Use that arm, but don't put any tension in the shoulders, flex. Point, breathe in, and make sure you're not moving the rest of your body. One more. Now bring it back, point. Now flex your foot, but push the hip away. Lift and down, nice and slow. Two, three, four, keep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, let's roll back and stretch this leg. I might be going a little bit over 15, but cross that leg, lift up. 
Relax your shoulders. Maybe pull it in, heavy your tailbone. Relax. So flex that foot. Maybe let the legs fall a little bit to that side, the back leg to that side. That knee points out a little bit. Relax the shoulders, focus on our breath. If you ever need to, keep, I forgot to mention, if you ever want to keep your foot down on a mat, you don't have to pull it in. Then let your legs fall all the way over. If it's too much, stack those legs, whatever works. All right, let's uncross. Okay, I'm gonna have you grab the back of your legs, cross your legs, well, I could forward, come forward, and you can just kind of come there however you want. I'm going to just do a plank, um, but I'm only going to do a shard one. So I'm going to I'm going to be on my hands. You can always be on the forearms. So act like you're pushing the wall, but relax your shoulder blades. Have those shoulders right over the wrist. Extend the right leg, left leg, lift up. Push your heels one way, crown of your head the other. Pull the abs in, point your tailbone towards your knees. If you need to drop down to your knees, please do, or if you need to rest. So I want you to breathe in, expand those ribs, accordion, exhale, shh, and pull the belly button ribs toward the hips, point the tailbone away, back like you're pushing to the wall, lift the, really lift through the armpits. Do not lift the shoulders. Breathe in, exhale, drop those knees, maybe knees wide, and sit back. If you ever can't sit back like this, you can always stay forward. So just take it a deep breath and exhale, deep breath. Okay, let's come forward. We're almost done. Just something from your back. So I'm gonna come forward here. And whenever you're in your belly, if you ever have problems with your back, you can like put a blanket or a towel underneath your, uh, underneath your hips. So what we're gonna do is what we call a swan. I'm gonna, just so we're activating our hamstrings, tuck your toes, lift your, lift your thighs up. Have your hands next to your chest. Pull the elbows back by the ribs. Look down. Now root the pelvis, lift the abs. Now I'm going to lift up. So I'm not doing this. I'm lifting straight up, relax the shoulders. Pull those abs in. I'm going to act like I'm pulling the crown of the head to the opposite wall. I'm pulling those heel of my hands down. Exhale. Lift up. I'm lengthening the spine and down. Two more. Breathing. And exhale, one more. Breathe in. And exhale. And just rest your head on your hands, bend your knees, rock it back and forth. So I'm just rocking those legs back and forth, kind of a reverse uh, windshield wiper knees. All right, let's sit back, stretch it out, roll it up and have a seat. I just want to stretch your neck before we Sometimes we use that neck too much instead of the ribs, so just kind of watch it. Tall, breathing in, and exhaling. Reach that left arm back, relax the other arm tall. Tilt your head to the right, tilt your chin forward if you can. Watch that you don't um, curl up those feet or clench them. Come on up. Other side, reach it back. You can just reach back a little bit or further. Lift your chest, shoulders back. Tilt your head to the left, maybe forward. Relax and just roll out those shoulders a little bit. And the other way. Breathe in tall. Exhale, let's do one more breath. Breathe in tall and exhale. Thank you for joining me. Hey guys, my name is Bake McBride. I am the assistant manager and group fitness director here at MOVE by BJC. And I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to join us for this session. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can jump on the website at www.movebybjc.org or you can give us a call 314-286-0525. Thanks again.